how you all doing? Derby Jack here. I just came here, I just came on here to let you know something funny. Apparently this morning, I seen a video. Uh, now, I, I don't know if any of you know it. I'm back on um, uh, Twitter. I did have one channel open, so I figured, okay, we'll try this again. So I decided to go back on. I subscribed to a couple people that I do know from my last, you know, so. So I'm starting up. So I, I seen today there was a video about, you know, it's been coming out about Bill Gates on an interview, you know, pretty much laughing at people, you know, one part of the video is that he's laughing at people who listen to him about masks and went, and, went into restaurants with masks on but yet sat down and, and took their masks off and he thought that was funny that people did that, you know. Mm. So anyway, I, 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 was, I was watching that video. And I, I came back on a, on, on you know, as as a comment basically saying he was I know he was also talking about carbon emissions on this particular video. It was part of an, the same video but another part of it. And he sat there is talking about um, that he was behind the carbon emissions thing, you know. And I came back and basically made a comment saying that you know. Um, the day that you pass on, the day that you pass away, will be a good day. I said, Mr. Gates, the day that you pass away will be a good day for carbon, for, 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 for carbon emissions. And he, and somebody got angry. Well, I have a timeout once again on Twitter because of that comment. So I went and made it a repeal and I said, you people are a bunch of morons. I said, I never threaten a man. So I, I talked about what the future would be. You know, he could live to be another hundred years. He could live to be a hundred years old. You know, we don't know. But I was basically stating the day that he passed away would be a good day for carbon because we wouldn't have one idiot keep bringing it up all the time. Did I mince any words in saying that? Am I going to get kicked off YouTube for saying that Gates is a freaking idiot? He is. He's an idiot. Man's a downright fool. For him to sit there and say, and an egotist, an ego maniac, basically. He is an ego maniac. The man should be put away because he's a danger to society. I mean, so is that going to get me kicked off now? Because I'm saying people like him, Valchi, these people are a danger to society. Why the hell are you people listening to these mongrels? They bring nothing good to the table. Especially Gates now, buying up all the farmland. There ain't going to be too much good food on your table anymore, is there? You see a cockroach on the table. Get him. He's supposed to be back in the bowl. Unbelievable. This is our this is the world we live in. Do, do you want it? If I were to want to make a sell you the world, is this what you want? Do you want all the world, all the people and all its problems and all its mental and all its mental disabilities? Do, do you want them? I'll sell them to you at a cheap price. I'll tell you what, I'll sell you the world for a dollar. That's all it's worth. And it ain't even worth that anymore. Everything's polluted. The people are stupid. They regressed. They believe in evolution. They never evolved, but somehow, some way, they're de-evolving. Humanity's gone. Like I always call y'all, most of y'all out there, a bunch of human monkeys. You bring nothing to the table anymore. You're worthless. What do you think you're going to be able to do for God? Well, a lot of you ain't going to heaven anyway. The only ones that are going to heaven are the ones that sit here who listen to me, who laugh along with me, who scowl along with me, and recognize that everything that I'm saying is a truth. 
and, and, and recognize that everything that I'm telling, I'm, I'm saying to all the rest of you monkeys, that you guys are never going to get it. You're just going to say, oh, he's an evil bad man. That Derby Jack makes me feel bad. Well, good. Feel bad. Go ahead and feel bad. Feel bad all the way down to hell. Then when you're down to hell, then you can really feel bad. By that time, I, I won't even care. I, I won't even remember who the hell you were. Neither will God. You know what? That's the predicament I would not want to be in. You know what I believe hell is? I believe hell is a just a dark place. Cold, dark place. But you don't feel it. You don't feel much of anything. You got no arms, no legs. You're just there. Just there. Unembodied. Just there. Your thoughts are encased, but you're like like you could be a dark bubble, just there in the darkness. Forever and ever. And no voices, nobody to talk to, nobody to hear your gripes. You don't even have a voice. You have a mind. And what you're left with is all the memory and what keeps bringing, going back and over and over and over again are all the things that you did against God, all the life that you lived against God, the way you, you talked against God, all your life until the day you died, you cursed God over and over again, forever and ever and evermore. That's hell disembodied nothing and no one anywhere don't even know who you are don't even remember you you could have been a big wig in the world but you're no longer remembered by anybody there your your name is not in the book of life there is no book of death it burned in the fire so there is no book of death, but you're no longer in any book of life. That's hell. To never be remembered, your name, nothing that you ever did, meant nothing. See, that's what it means to live in this world. All the achievements you met in this world, to this world and for this world or whatever, all the achievements that you've made mean nothing in the heavenlies. The only, only, only achievement that you needed was to achieve salvation. To, to walk in the way of God. That's all. That was all that was asked of you. And most of you, even you, Valchi, weren't capable of doing that. All you high and mighty mongrels aren't capable of doing that. You're not capable of recognizing your shortcomings, for you do not believe you have any. You, 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 are not, you are not capable of stating when you're wrong, because you're too egotistical. People like you, Fauci, people like you, Gates, people like all of you, even old pervy Joe. Well, old pervy Joe, let's forget him because he don't even know who the hell he is. He don't even know that he's a pervert. He's just out there. And yet, you allow that mongrel to stay in office. I don't care if you're Republican or a Democrat, the man needs to leave the office. He, he is, he's, he's more of an embarrassment even though the United States is an embarrassment anyway to the world, <clears throat> all we are is a warehouse. We give our bodies, we give our lives, we give our food, we give out our oil, we give everything out to them. We let them come over here and take our resources. What the hell are we? A bunch of warehouse. That's all we are. You, you, we ought to make a commercial. USA Warehouse. Come and get anything you want for free. Go ahead. You can take our people and fight your wars for you. We can die for you because we're a warehouse. And we'll give you money. You don't have to pay us. The great United States of America. What a 
freaking joke. And you know it's a joke. You flag flying stupid idiots. I'm watching my language. Derby Jack ain't happy. I'm trying my best. But just think about that for a moment, people. So anyway, I'm off Twitter for a while. I could go on, but I, I, I'm waiting for my repeal to see what they say. I don't know if they'll take kindly to morons, but the word moron, because I called them a bunch of morons, you know. I don't care anymore. My repeal was, I never threatened a man. They made it sound like I threatened. I never threatened a man. I said a statement, a futuristic statement. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying, if you weren't around, the world would be a better place. And someday, when you're gone, it'll be a better place without you. Now, of course, we all know that some other mongrel will come and take his place. You know, We always know that happens. You know, the, It's the end times. It ain't going to get any better. So if one mongrel's taken out, another mongrel will come right in. You know, they're all possessed with the same type of, that spirit's, that spirit had to leave that body because that body, so it'll just go into the other person who's doing pretty much the same thing, thinks pretty much the same way, gets on his hands and knees the same as the other guy did, you know, for his handlers. Hey, right, right? You're nasty, Derby Jack. What kind of a minister are you? I'm a truthful minister. I'm not the kind, oh, open your Bible. Blah, blah. I'm not an all that, okay? You want that type of minister? Go to a worthless church. You'll find one in every street corner of every little town. In the city, every block, every other block, there's a worthless church. It's either a Catholic church, could be a Presbyterian church, you might walk in and they might have Bible reading with the transsexuals for your children, four or five year old. We'll, we'll have Bible study with the teenagers, the, 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 the transies, you know, they're gonna, they'll come in all flamboyant and, well, there are teachers and there are places they want to bring the, you know, the, those type of people into the, schools because they're fun I'm glad I don't have a child that child would make me take people out I'm so I'm glad right now I'm not married I, I don't have a child because it, 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 if I had a child and and, and I in and, and my school the school that I sent my child to made him try to eat crickets and tried to push sexual innuendos and cross-dressing bull crap and I would have to take people out. You got to understand, you know, I mean, that the pride of a father, good God, how, how could you, how, I'm not talking their pride, I'm talking the pride, that, that came from, that came from my sperm, that child, okay, that child was not born to be a psychopath. Not born to be a gay SOB. Not born to be a mental case whatsoever, you know. Sitting there wearing a dress and makeup and... No, 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 no. A thing. No, no. Can't have it. Can't. Couldn't have it. If my child turned that way, I have to say. I'm saying this fictitiously, but if I... I'd have to take my child out. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't have that child go through life, you know. i actually be doing the child a favor. Because if they ain't going to change, I bring them up to be a Christian, and they turn around and be a, a makeup wearing it. No, I can't have it. So anyway, that's a derby here. <laughs> derby grant, I guess. I guess you all can tell I'm 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 really I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of this world. I've been praying for God to speed up whatever he's doing in my life because 
I'm ready to go. I'm, 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 I'm tired of all this. I'm tired of seeing stupidity all around me. I'm tired of seeing people just lose, lose themselves. I'm, I'm sick of it. You know, I, I talked to a lady today at work, and um, she, she said, I'm so confused. I said, well, you're a Christian. She goes, yeah, I go to church. I said, well, why the hell are you confused? I said, do you read your Bible? Do you pray to God? She goes, but my minister, he, he also, you know, he wants us to do what's right. Then you get a guy out of that church because that minister is lying to you. That minister ain't telling you God, telling you about the truth of God's word. That's why you're confused because you don't got no minister. You don't got no. She, she couldn't understand what I was saying. This is what I'm talking. This is the populace of church. This is the type of thinking people in church are. They don't know what to think. They got no, they got no leadership in their churches. These ministers are idiots, okay? Yeah, they know all the theology. They know all the uh, 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 dispensationalism. They know, all, they know all of it, you know? But they don't know anything about God. Everything except God. They can give you, you know, uh, well, well, can give you commentaries about God. They can do this, but they don't know God. They don't understand their spirit. Many ministers are ministers and don't even converse with the Holy Spirit which dwells within them. As lost as a baby's ass. That's right. As lost as a little baby who's naked and doesn't understand anything. They've gone to seminary. They've gone to their cemeteries. They've gone to their se well, seminaries. They've gone to their, 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 their Bible colleges. And yet, studied for years, know the Bible backwards and forwards, but can't tell you a damn thing about the Holy Spirit. Yeah, that's right. These are your ministers in your churches. Worthless. Worthless to the bone. Worthless to the heart. Worthless to anything. Stand up there and look pretty. Sound good. And yet, your parishioners, how many of you can truthfully say to yourselves that you walk out each Sunday and feel better? Now, if you say that because you had a cross-dressing transvestite in there, you know, reading Bible studies and sitting there shaking your butt and sitting there just blowing bubbles and, and having a good old time with your children and you thought that was fun? Not only are you an idiot, but you're lost and your children should be taken away from you. I got no tolerance. I got no tolerance for any of that. Parents who would allow their children to go see a, a transvestite, especially that one video I seen about the ones that let the little four or five year olds touch their groin. I have to say, that ever, if I had a child and that, ha that person, let's put it this way, uh, uh, they never find him. Let's leave it at that. He'd be lost. We'll leave it at that. He, uh, one more. He'd be gone. Never to be returned or seen again. Maybe they ought to start putting transvestites on milk cartons. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a hoot? Missing fags. Yeah. Missing, missing cross-dresser. Have you seen this person on a milk carton? Yeah! You know, what I'm talking about isn't funny at all. But anyway, I've said my piece. I am probably going to be flogged here at YouTube. Always remember... Shove my shit out some other way. You use a shovel and take my crap and 
shovel it out, you know? Let other people hear it. So anyway, Derby Jack out. Love you all. See you all on the other side.